Welcome once again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 5, verses 12 through 16. Miracles and signs and wonders by the hands of the apostles. Verse 12, by the hands of the apostles, many signs and wonders were done among the people. They were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. In other words, they were all in with one mind, one heart. They were all doing the same thing. They were all there with one purpose. Verse 13, none of the rest dared to join them. However, the people honored them. Why is it that none of the rest dared to join them? You see, these were a fearful people. They weren't just people going around hugging every tree and kissing every cockroach. They were fearful people. Verse 14, more believers were added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women. They even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mattresses so that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might overshadow some of them. The multitude also came together from the cities around Jerusalem, bringing sick people and those who were tormented by unclean spirits, and they were all healed. Remember, Jesus promised us those who really truly believe in him will do the same signs and wonders that he was doing. And he said, even greater than those. Okay, so here we got Peter, whose shadow just his shadow healed the sick. God can and does do great and mighty miracles today. And he can do great miracles for every one of you. You know, there are some of you who will be listening to this, some of you who will be worshiping God, and you don't even know it. But all of a sudden, you will notice, hey, that pain that I had is gone. That disease that I had is gone. Why? Because you have stretched out your soul to God. You have laid down your life to the Lord. You have repented of your sins and God's blessings will be poured over you. Remember, as you seek him, you will find him. And when you call upon him, he will show you great and mighty things. I love you guys.